Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, today we're going to go over posting groups, keep going there. And I'm actually spending considerable time on the balance sheet posting groups because they sort of uh, give you the feeling of what posting groups are about. It will get much more complicated when you get into the posting setup. But um, with the balance sheet posting groups or the uh, entity posting groups, like customer, vendor, inventory, and bank, um, they are posting directly into the balance sheet and it's pretty simple like how they uh, delineate the posting. Um, so what I was going to go into one cool thing, whether you can do, uh, to just to show you, and then I'm going to talk about something called direct posting on the account. So the cool thing that I have, I'm actually logging here into the account manager, is that if you go into journals um, and go into the default badge, add a journal. Um, so here we actually had set up something. I'm just going to delete that from last one. Uh, in the account type, if I don't put a document number here, a document type in, I actually just have that blank. Uh, and in the account type, if I say customer, let's say we have the same customer and vendor. So like the same company, we actually buy from that company, they're a vendor to us, but we also sell to them. So we have like a purchase and sale relationship. Now, in that sense, we would have to create a customer for that company and a vendor for that company. And so how can you actually move balances between the customer and the vendor? Let's say that they say, um, you know, you sold us something and you bought something for us. Let's just wipe out um, those transactions, you know, move the amount from one to another. So moving an amount from customer to a vendor becomes extremely simple in NAV. I can just put into the journal, here's a customer, pick the customer, like the canon group, like so. And on the other side, let's say it's 5,000. And let's say I don't have the canon group as a vendor in my demo, but I'm going to just pick a vendor. Um, yeah, so one note, NAV does not allow you to set this up as a balancing account. All right, but that's okay. We can skip that. If you know anything about the journals or you worked with the journals before, we don't have to specify the balancing account. We can specify the other account on the next line. So the next line, the document number stays the same. Put in vendor. I pick the vendor. I'm going to just pick any vendor here. Um, let's say London Postmaster. Um, so the Canon group happens to be known as the London Postmaster when we're actually buying from them. Uh, and here I put negative 5,000 to even it out. So you see now my document number is clean. It's, uh, it balances out. It's all being posted on G12 here. And I'm posting between a customer and a vendor. So with the posting groups, the posting groups make this actually flow nicely. So we uh, post to the accounts receivable account and we post to the uh, accounts payable account through these entities. Uh, so if I post here, just hit OK, and now I have actually moved the balance. Even though the system did not allow me to put it as a balancing account, just put it on the second line. And that's really a cool feature, I think. It's really nice to be able to just move balances between one entity and another. All right, that was uh, kind of the first part of this video, cool feature. The second part, I'm going to talk about something called direct posting, and in that that is super important when it comes to balance sheet postings um, through posting groups. So if I go into my chart of accounts uh, and I'm going to take a look at my uh, customer domestic accounts receivable account. So this is the AR account. Um, so we have tied the uh, customer domestic posting group for, for customer posting group um, to this account. And so that whenever we pick a customer that has that posting group, it'll post to this account. And if I take a look at this account by hitting edit, 
um, I can see something here and this is actually in the demo company and this is not right uh, it's it comes from NAV from Microsoft set up like this I mean it could be right for some reason or another some weird reason for me I, me personally I don't think it's the right setup uh, this here direct posting is checked off that means that you can post directly to this account uh, without going through a customer or through a posting group and the problem with that is that if you actually run H accounts receivable it will and you've posted directly to this account it will not match it will not match you don't want anybody to post directly to this account through GL um, so if I take this off like so and, uh, and it should be off you should always take that off for any balance uh, balance sheet account that is going through a posting group if I now go into my journal and I go into the default journal as well and get in here and now I'm gonna post let's say straight to this um, accounts receivable let's see uh, GL account and we're gonna go into customer domestic that's what it was and look system says no can't post directly to that because we're taking off the direct posting so this is good because I will have to post through this by actually so let me just take that out by actually using something called customer here if I pick a customer I'll do the canon group again um, then it'll post to that account through the customer account which is good and why is this good because if I post through a customer um, and use the yeah, always use customer here instead of going straight to the account I will actually and I'm gonna just now navigate to this customer I will generate an entry in the customer card um, ledger entries or the customer ledger entries so I will generate an entry here these this is the transaction history for the customer and that is what is being displayed on the aged accounts receivable report it goes through all of this so if I actually bypass that by going straight to the GL there will not be any entry here um, but there will be an entry on the GL account which means that the GL account will not balance the age uh, balance with the aged accounts receivable so your customer balances will be out of sync with the GL account so I hope I made that clear uh, so the direct posting always take that off for any balance sheet account that's getting posted through posting groups uh, and needs to be balanced out uh, by like eight accounts payable or eight accounts receivable or anything like that or even inventory valuation things like that inventory gets a little tricky though once we get into that um, but inventory evaluation should definitely balance out with the inventory accounts um, and so hopefully you learned something from this video I know it was a lot of talk uh, about some very important concepts and uh, until next time uh, if you like this video please hit like or subscribe thank you